Good evening. I'd like to call the Monday, January 16th, Town of Berlin Select Board meeting to order. With us tonight is uh, Flo Smith on my left, Joe Staub on my far left, Carl Parton on my right, and uh, was Dave going to be here? Um, also with us is Vince Connie, our town administrator, our town treasurer, Diane Isabel, and I'm Brad Town. Um, Addition or changes to the agenda? One addition to add the select board report for approval. Uh, public comment. Hearing none. Uh, town clerk appropriations and update for approval. Okay. Uh, in your package, there is the Town meeting uh, morning and notice. All the articles are on there. Uh, there were several uh, that did not apply. Uh, so the funding, the total funding for the articles this year, excluding the fire department, are 64163 which is uh, $34,000 less than last year's approximately. We were a little over 98000 last year. And, and the deadline has passed for getting on the ballot for this? Yes. Okay. Uh, you'll also note on the warning, there are two numbers highlighted. Um, the, the fire department is, is basically finalized, but it is highlighted in yellow. There was a there was a question about the possible further reductions there that we had asked them, and of course our budget number as well uh, is last year's number, and it'll be hopefully finalized tonight. So those two numbers will will be updated accordingly as needed. Well, that being the case, let's take and uh, change the order and put that in after the. Uh, We'll vote on that first after the uh, approval of the uh, final budget review. Okay. Uh, anything else on that, Vince? No. Um, request to cater permit, three penny tap room. Uh, a retirement party at the Grange. Grange. Correct. 75 people. Yep. I make a motion to approve the liquor license for the Three Penny Tap Room for Friday, February 3rd from 8 p.m. to midnight at the Capital City Grange. 75 people expected, like Ben said, for the private retirement party. A second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, Final budget review and approval. Okay, so in your package again, you have a summary report. I did not include the full 31 pages of the budget again, because we went through that pretty much line by line. What I did provide you was a summary. It's actually two pages. Uh, and we talked about using uh, ARPA funds for some of the costs uh, to hopefully bring our, our rate down. I think we were successful. Uh, we had a uh, 5.4 to 7.3 target from flow, and we are in for the town budget at 7.3. So how did we get there? <laughs> we, we eliminated out of the budget uh, 26,000 for the zoning enforcement officer part-time. Uh, we took that completely out. We took the 60,000 out that the public works had requested uh, as well. And we took 68,000 out from the capital budget, a reduction. So the, the two funds that we took that out, we basically reduced them to the same dollar amount that we had last year. That brought them to that. On top of that, from there, we funded using ARPA funds uh, into back to the capital budget, the 180,000 for highway equipment, uh, the 12,000 for police, guns and ammo, and the 45,000 for one of the vehicle purchases we had, had proposed to this year. And 
that would cover one of them. That being done, reduced our overall budget increase to 7.3 for the town operational expenses. Then we have the, the fire department, right? Increase of approximately 13.4. So the town- 13.09. Excuse me, 13.09. Thank you, Joel. Uh, that brought us up to a 19% increase. Um, and on this sheet, I did not revise it today. That 98,000 now becomes uh, 64,163 for the appropriations. <coughs> that being said, Diane calculated the overall reduction would be roughly, with that, around 20.7 for the full amount of the fire department. So based on that, uh, using ARPA funds, if we took another $100,000 of ARPA funds and used that towards the appropriations for the fire department, so the town would pick up 287, ARPA would pick up 100,000, that would bring us down to about 17.7% overall, instead of the 19 that it shows there, 17.7. And you have a you have a page in your packet that shows where the capital funds are as well. The two accounts that those would come out of, three accounts, including the police cruiser. And uh, Diane was kind enough to do some other calculations today for us. If uh, if we wanted to get down to around the 10% overall uh, with everything, we would need to cut another $250,000 out of the budget, approximately. So I think uh, somewhere, I, I just want to be clear where the math is working. So. The fire department increase was 13%. And if, if we go with the Correct. other town, you just added the seven to the 13. Uh, now the, the fire department increase is 13% over their budget, not the total town budget, right? Correct. All right. That's their increase over last year's budget. Right. So is it just coincidence that our increase of seven and their increase of 13 just, equals to an overall budget of 20 or just just coincidence okay. the, the numbers work okay mm -hmm. if you were to do the math that's what you would come up with So if we use another 100,000 of ARPA funds for the fire department, which cuts the cost to 17.7. Correct. Next year when the fire department comes with their budget, will it look like a 39% increase? Something well, like that. <clears throat> no, because they're requesting from the town 387,000 this year. Okay. Right? So if they come with a 10% increase, it'll be 10% 10, 10 over that 387,000. Okay. The 287 is, the 100,000 is just the ARPA funds offsetting the town, the impact to the town. Okay. They're still requesting the same amount of increase. It's how we're paying for it is the difference. Kind of a shell game. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's, it's to, to be quite frank, it's no different than what's technically it's no different than what we've done in the past, like last year in buying down the tax rate. Mm -hmm. It's just where the funds coming from instead of coming out of a 
our fund right. of non assigned. So it's the, so from ARPA. When we calculate the tax rate, then we would put a, a line item in there saying ARPA and then have it subtract. Mm -hmm. I'm not in favor of using the additional 100000 of ARPA for the fire department. I do think the 19% that it's gotten down to is good. Um, I think the 17.7 to the 19%, uh, I'm just not in favor of using that extra 100000 to bring it down just that um, small amount. I think there's other uses for that. That's just my own opinion. Yeah, that, that's yeah. something that the board will have to decide and right. vote on. Most definitely. Yeah, Joe. And I think, I don't know, my opinion on the use of the ARPA um, funds should be something that's like long term and not a 12 month, you know, event of some sort. Um, you know, like I, I see the, the guns and ammo for the police, I see the guns are going to last let's say eight, 10, 12 years, whatever that might be, I see that as good use of the ARPA funds, but the ammo is gonna be spent that year. And maybe not, maybe the best use of ARPA funds. Um, yeah. And I guess I just wanna say that the fire department did not ask for ARPA funds to be used towards their budget. As I, as I see it, when we use the, I'm in favor of using the ARPA funds to, to buy down this, buy down this budget. However, the ARPA funds are an outside source, whereas before when we bought it down, it was from internal revenue already in the Correct. bank, so to say. Absolutely. Yes. So next year, unless we have a surplus in the budget, we're going to be against the wall most likely and are the There'll numbers in, are the numbers in this budget still inclusive of eight percent for yep. all staff yeah so i think yes, that's a are. topic we should discuss as well hmm well, the only thing with the would be the wages, from my point of view, is until until something breaks this inflation or cycle we're in. I mean, how are you going to retain people? I know it's difficult, and I I see your point, and I've considered it myself. I just think um, eight percent. I'm not quite there at eight percent. I think well, times are tired of hmm. times are hard all over. Well, what's cola now? Cola it was it was eight point seven percent time we were putting this together. So and bear in mind, there, there's two prongs to that eight percent number, right? So for the last two years, I've been looking at the VLCT, looking at the salaries across the state from a comparative level. I also looked back, and I can I can go find the the notes of the last. Uh, I think it was eight years I asked you for, Diane, right? You gave me? Mm -hmm. Of the COLA versus this raise increase for the staff. And we were over 13% behind until last year. Last year, we gave a, a roughly 6% increase, which left us a little over 8% behind on average when you do the comparison. This year, that 8% matched with the COLA brings us up to just about even um, with both cost of living and the uh, average across the state for the similar positions. Just putting that out there for information. So we, we, we played a little bit of catch up over the last couple of years as well. What, what uh, total savings would there be or effect on the budget would there be for a one, each 1% decrease from that 8%. So if it was 7%, yeah. can we give a... Uh, the, the total of the increase for the year for the salaries is a little over $30,000. If you take that out of the total, you're probably looking at... You're not looking at even 1%. All right, not quite 1%. Because it's right. about 50,000 is 1%. That's changed a lot. 
it used to be one percent was thirty thousand. So one percent off the eight percent is thirty thousand, and one percent lower in the total budget is fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. my thought and then we can discuss it discuss it but I was thinking five percent this year and then revisit it next year um, I respect that eight the eight percent would bring us in line with the current COLA um, but I just think looking at the budget and everything that we've needed to cut out and looking at it fiscally responsibly I'm looking at five percent um, for staff, and I do highly respect all of our staff, and certainly um, wouldn't want to lose anyone. Um, but I would, I that's where I'm at. So, in our wages compared to in VLTC, where, where how we're at the median, or we're just above it or just well, below it? Overall, we're about median. We have a couple that are just slightly above and we still have a couple that are slightly below as well so we're about split and mr sawyer just joined us oh good so. sorry i'm late but i was unaccustomed to the time change <laughs> <laughs> no worries glad you're here discussing the budget so, Flo, you're, you're talking about a 5% instead of the 8%. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily, we don't have contracts or anything. We couldn't, I guess, have the town employee, talk to the town employees if we did something less than the 8 with the idea that we're going to try and make it up next year. Mm -hmm. How about something like that? Mm -hmm. Kicking the can. Well, we, we are. To an extent, we but, are. And uh, we can't promise that would be, let's say, another 3% to make the 8%, which we're going to be behind the ball well, next you know, year, that, this time. Yeah, look, what I'm, what I'm looking at is if you, have, if you still have 7% uh, inflation, next year, 3% isn't going to do much for them. They're now still we're 10% be, behind. Yeah, they're still dropping. Well, that's speculative. We could say, what if we had 3% inflation next year and we could make up? So. Yeah. It's a guess, guessing game, and inflation probably follows federal government spending and energy prices. So, you know, the spending is going to be obscene, but. Well, the energy prices are too. Yeah. I don't see any, pardon the expression, I don't see any coming down the pipeline. <laughs> Witty. <laughs> What are your thoughts, Dave, on the budget? Well, I haven't had a lot of opportunity lately to look the whole thing over, but talking about the, you know, increase in the pays by whatever percentage that, you know, I came in late, which you're thinking uh, about doing. I, I've been looking at all these reports of, of, of where, you know, the shortages on, on, on items from beef to everything else that I believe the inflation is probably going to be higher than what it is this year. I hope not, but all the reports are leaning that way. Uh, you know, with the shortages in beef and 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 uh, j just everything. Uh, so I, I I don't feel good about it. Uh, not yeah. thinking that it's going to be a you know a a two or three percent increase in inflation. I I, I think you're going to see it above five. Uh, you know, more than the seven, eight percent, if not higher. Well, Dave, what's your thoughts? We were talking about um, perhaps reducing the uh, pay increase from seven, what, seven eight, to eight, eight, from eight, eight to five. seven, eight to five. So that's a three percent reduction in, in in their in the employees' pay increase, and then try to make it up next year. And I'm not. My point was, I don't see that it's going to get any better next year, and the and the employees will be a little further behind the eight ball, or we will be too. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't, I, I, 
I don't think I would be in favor of a 3% decrease. I mean, uh, it may be, ah, boy, I don't even really feel good about two, uh, one, uh, because uh, you're, you're going to be playing catch up and all you're going to do is put your employees in a worse spot if inflation continues down the way that 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 it appears to be going. We made a compensation this year when uh, when, you know, we recognized um, uh, the employees with a, uh, a retention bonus this year for we did that. Who got that? The town highway. Just the highway yeah. yeah. The money out of the ARPA funds. And hopefully, if that if the if the employee retention bonus proves fruit, we we have saved some money going down the road. Because the trouble I'm seeing is, if we lose anyone, how are we going to replace them, and what is it going to cost us? At least here we have a known figure. Whereas if we hire someone, may not have the same skill level. Of course. If you hire somebody with less skill level, you can get a, 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 a lower rate on the hourly. But at the same time, there's other factors there that aren't pleasant, too, with an unskilled workforce. Yeah. And in the market, the way it is, it, trying to find somebody to fill some of them seats, it's almost, it, it just, it, it can't be done. I mean, uh, not effectively. Uh, you know, going from eight to six, maybe, and then having the opportunity next year to make it up a little bit. I mean, it's speculative to think that it, it's not going to be that high inflation next year. But I mean, the possibility is, is, I mean, it, it could be less. So we might have the opportunity to make it up. I don't know about making up 3%. So I brought up uh, last meeting what the state of Vermont did. We got a percentage increase uh, and then um, a couple bonuses. And it's my understanding that the bonus could be out of ARPA funds. Um, so what if we were to kind of compromise with what we're all saying and did the 5%, but then gave a half a percent bonus June 30th for folks that worked the first six months and then a Christmas bonus of a half a half a percent um, December 31st uh, for the folks that work that six months to get it up to six percent but we'd still get the ninety thousand dollar savings on the overall budget um, we'd use just thirty thousand of ARPA funds um, so it's kind of meeting in the middle but not necessarily uh, yeah. where, I'm sorry, where do you come up with the 90,000? Uh, I thought 30,000 for every 1% lower. So if we went from 8 to 5, that's... No, oh, the 8%, the total across the board for the 8% increase for salary is like thirty-two or $33,000 dollars in total. Total. In oh. total for everyone. Total. Oh. It's not a big amount. Oh. oh. Boy, it sounded, so, sounded much better. <laughs> it's very much more sorry. So we're so we're arguing over. I mean, yeah, we're not arguing. Sorry. We're discussing. No, yeah, we're, we're discussing. discussing. Yeah, yeah, Dave. Lamenting. So we're we're, we're only up. talking of the difference of what was it thirty six thousand? Yeah, less than that, but yes, that's the total for non union. And I'm coming at it from the perspective that 5% is respectable and that we could look at it as well next year as we would and that I'm in favor of the bonus suggestion. I think that that is also um, a wonderful, wonderful concept as well as using some of the ARPA funds for the bonuses. Um, again, it's not a huge amount of money. 8% is a sizable amount for an increase um, in tough times. And so it's definitely a big discussion, you know, given we do respect our staff. And just the question is, do we want to go forward with a full 8% increase or do we want to pare it down some? 
Well, I'm not seeing this as a pay increase. I'm just seeing this as, as keeping the uh, keeping the, the the employees' boats level from sinking. Because if we if you do five percent with eight percent inflation nationwide, you're coming up. The employees are leave, are losing three percent of their income. And you're saying the the nationwide is an eight percent inflation at, at right now is a, is the number seven something. It's seven like, something. I think, it's, I think it's in the high sevens. I haven't had the heart to look lately. But if you, I mean, you're basically you're basically allowing the employees to lose ground here if you if you reduce their eight uh, percent. That's what I see. And again, I'm just going to bring it up for, again, Dave, for your benefit of what I said earlier. How part of this eight eight percent was calculated at the time of doing this, it was an eight point seven percent cost of living. And I worked with Diane over the last eight years to look at what the salary increases were compared to COLA, um, I thought it was around eight years, uh, to see how they compared or kept pace. And they didn't keep pace. Uh, we were roughly, they were, the staff was roughly about 13% behind what COLA would have been. So they had already been losing ground the last several years. So between last year and this year, um, we tried to make up a fair percentage of that, also using the leagues of cities and towns report for comparative salaries to see where we were. Uh, so with, with and that, how far? Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just thinking, seeing as you've looked at that across the board, how are we faring with the leagues of city and towns across the board for, for employees? Well, two, two years ago, we were behind across the board. With last year's increase, we got just about there. A couple were almost on the money for the, for the average. Um, and some were lower. With this year, we have a couple above the average and a couple below the average. So overall, we're right about average with this year's numbers. Okay. But we're still behind by about, well, I, no, I shouldn't say that, uh, about 2% overall on the, on the COLA, 2 or 3% total from years past. But again, and what's your feet? What you're feeling, Vince, I mean, it, it, with what you're hearing out there across the board and in, in, in other communities, you, you, uh, have you heard anything from them of what they're, what, where they're leaning on a cost of living increase or anything? Have you heard anything? I, I haven't talked to any of the other towns yet, and I've been looking to see what's come out, but I haven't seen much on that yet. So I really can't, I can't speak fairly on that because I don't, don't really know at this point. Okay. The other thing to bear in mind is, you know, we went through union negotiations. I know we're talking about the 8%, but that's just the non-unionized employees. Um, our police force is getting a 6% plus a 4% uh, plus a cost of living, 6% year on year for the next three years. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, that's that's about the number I felt that that would be a comfortable increase, but I don't, wouldn't want to put our employees, you know, in a sinking ship, but 6% seems to be a number that, that that I would definitely feel comfortable with. I mean, I'm not objecting to the 8%, but I'm just, it seems a little high. Uh, but overall, we're only talking 30 something thousand. Uh, it just seems like this year, we've every, all throughout the year, it seems like we've been raising pays and adding positions for stuff. So, so it's not just the 30,000, it's the amount of money that we've, uh, we've either added positions or raised stuff throughout the year. Uh, that I could, you know, I just keep thinking back to.
there's so many factors in, in this. Uh, the Vermont League, cities, the towns, not taking into consideration the benefits. And benefits, uh, Berlin has good benefits, I think, mm -hmm. from the sounds of it. Um, you know, the occupation is like real estate in the sense that location mm -hmm. and uh, you know, work, climate, and environment is, is important and a factor as well. But there was also a pretty big insurance, health insurance cost increase. And when we're thinking about um, cost of living, uh, and you know, really the 8% sounds like pretty fair, but I mean, there are a lot of people, and we talked about the private sector, where their uh, income may be going up to meet cost of living, but people on fixed incomes, people on uh, benefits, you know, structured benefits, aren't probably getting that. So there are people that it's most adversely going to affect uh, with our, you know, 20% budget that uh, we have to think about too. So uh, I just did a quick calculation on what it was. It's $31,890 across the board. Uh, if you take 2% of that away total, you're looking at $638. That just doesn't sound right. That sounds too low. <laughs> 31890 minus 2%. I'm going to hit the right buttons here. 31890 minus 2%. $637.80. So, so our total administrative budget is 300000 It, this so it's three. Do, does the three hundred eighty nine thousand thirty one thousand eight hundred ninety dollars is the total of the eight percent increase for all the staff that are getting it, highway and staff. That total increase for the year is thirty one thousand eight hundred ninety dollars total. So you're saying it's how much? What six hundred and some odd dollars? Yep, six hundred thirty eight dollars. It's all of your statement by dropping it two percent. And we're talking uh, over ten employees. So that's what sixty Five, bucks a piece. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine employees because one isn't getting it because he's a new hire. Gotcha. Hi, Wake. Oh, just hired. Okay. One left, and we hired a new guy. Right. Yeah. So it'd be nine into $600. <laughs> well, let's come up with a number. I can't see wasting too much time on, on this. Um, it was Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm looking at this, and that would be a increase of nine employees of like $3,200 an employee, correct? If everybody had the same salary, but right. which they don't. So. Right, right. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just doing the rough math on it. Hmm. And is there anything we could do for the one you hire? <clears throat> you know, now that you bring up that topic, you know, whatever we agree to tonight, um, being that's going to exclude one employee, is there anything we could do to factor think, in no, something the, the, for that employee the, as well? The, it was considered in the hiring rate that the oh, I he, see. Was, he was paid. So he's, okay, very well. Is there something you in, want to say, Joe? Oh. I was just uh, once we get off, I don't know if there's going to be a decision here. It needs but, to be tonight. Um, I guess I was going to have a question on your your summertime overtime. Is that what it is? I Wages. I, I don't know if this will make this any easier, but I'll tell you what. I'll do, what I'll take for a position on this, quite quite frankly, for six hundred and thirty-eight dollars. If that makes the difference, I'll take that off my increase, whatever percentage that comes out to be. Take it off my increase. 
and leave the rest of them for $638. I'll donate that from my, my increase. I'll reduce it by that amount to hit that number. Well, and just looking at the salaries and talking about what that would really affect, I think it's fairly clear that if you're going to cut anything, if you're looking for any amount, it's going to be a little bit of everything. You know, if you're going to take one percent off or two percent off the, the salaries and not save a whole lot, I mean, you're going to go down through this whole thing, mm -hmm. and we're going to have to just cut a little bit to get to some mark. Well, I'm, I'm some, offering, the, I'm offering the board that the the, the percentage to cut it. So the number that you wanted is $638. Take it off my increase alone. I'll leave the others where they are that keeps them where they need to be, in my opinion. Um, I'm happy to do so. End of the day, yeah, I'm, much I'm, more I'm not in favor. I'd be more in favor to go for the eight percent myself because we're only talking six hundred something dollars. Day. I mean, yeah. So I mean, it's it, get everybody where they need to be, I guess, and, and then we'd have, you know, I know we can on the road or we hopefully being optimistic that we don't have that much of an increase next year. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm thinking out loud. Well, I mean, once again, it's always the problem that uh, the increases come in the in the in the thousands, and your savings come in the hundreds. Mind your pennies, and the dollars take care of themselves. <laughs> Another old cliche. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I guess I'm much more supportive of the 8% uh, than I was for any of the new positions we we added. And really, those are the dollars we spent, it, which yeah. forces us now to argue over the pennies. The, the new police officer, on, on like the first day it was asked for, we just said yes. That was, in my opinion, as a loan uh, advocate against that hire, it was a mistake. Uh, you know, those are the big spending things that are have us where we are right now. On top of the police, I mean, that is making the police budget 13 plus percent increase. And, you know, 19 percent for the fire department. We all support the fire department, but a 19 percent increase is a lot. It's a big percentage number. It's not a 19 percent increase no. for the fire department. For the appropriation request. Third, third, well, yeah. Yeah. It, it brings it from 7.4 to 19. Oh, oh, total. Okay, right, 13, right. right. 13 still, big percentage. Maybe I got the police 17 and 13 the, backwards. The, the, with the, the police's increase over last year is 17. Yeah, oh, sorry, I got those mixed up. Yeah. Uh, those are the... I, just, just on that the, note, you should have a paper that looks like this because we were asked to look at the police budget as well. So basically, uh, just real quick on that, everything in blue is, is a union contract requirement. We can't change that. Everything in uh, the burnt orange color is contract driven. So there's contracts for those. Um, uh, there's some that are zeros. So obviously they're not applicable. Uh, the one yellow one was transferred to ARPA funds and everything else is as what's available to look at cutting supplies, uniforms, um, advertising, training, their legal fees, equipment maintenance, fuel, and prisoner lodging and so on and so forth. So again, we're pretty limited um, on what to cut there and, and several of those didn't increase over the last two years already. So um, again, yeah. something we can look at and talk about. Yeah, and, and you'll see from 23 to 24, just the wages for full-time salary is, I mean, that's partially the new that's contract, the biggest, but it's right? also the new officer. I mean, that's probably 80 to 90,000, 80,000 new officer maybe, so. Um, Correct. So I want to just go around and give a number for the, of the 8% and see if we can come to a consensus and go to the next 
more impactful uh, decision. Yeah. Go. I'm looking at what the the one percent reduction would bring to the budget. I think I'd be in favor of leaving at eight percent and for the employees for basically uh, it's, a, it's a retention thing. It, it really is. Um, you know, our assistant, so we have a new a new position there, the assistant treasurer between that and the and the new police officer. I mean, that's, that's a chunk right there. Um, so I'm in favor of the 8%, keeping it. Cool. Same. Carl? Yeah, I, I don't think this is a hill worth dying on. I'll go, right. <laughs> I'll go 8% too. <laughs> okay, can we move on to the next one? And there was Dave, or was he? Dave, are you, how are you feeling? Yeah, no, I'm, in, I'm in favor of the 8%. And, and you know, I, I, I was in favor of the new police hire. I think that, you know, over the last couple of years, being there and seeing what they were up against and being short people and, and you know, just the obstacles and, and the way the town of Berlin's growing and these positions that we added are going to be beneficial to us down the road. And, and as they are now, uh, so we're definitely in, in favor of the 8%. Okay. What was the next one on the, anybody have anything else you want to take and look at? The highway summer, what do we have for overtime during the summer? I'll have to go pull those files. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, is, is it really much? No, yeah. it's not much at all. No, I think okay. we got it. Yeah. It's like incidental, it's emergencies, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, we get a windstorm, a tree blows across, somebody comes out and cuts it out, out of the road, moves it. It's pretty minor in the summer. When it comes to this budget, so, most, most, most of the numbers we're looking at are driven from last year's expenses. Correct? Mm -hmm. And, you know, there was some pretty sizable increases in things that we didn't control. Insurances off the top of my head was like 30, almost 35% increase alone over last year. We're talking liability and workers' comp. That's what we're talking about. But to your, the answer to your question is yes. They were based on actual dollars. The price of gas, obviously, is another big one. Mm -hmm. And materials. Uh, the world. And even the price of a vehicle now is a lot more. You know, the trouble is, you don't buy them today, tomorrow, or whenever they deliver them. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the price has gone up another couple grand. So what's, what was the, what did you say again was the total decrease in the budget using the ARPA funds? Or the, the... We used 180,000 for the highway crew, 45,000 for the police vehicle, and 12,000 for the uh, guns. guns. So that leaves us with a, with a net increase in the budget of what percent? Seven point three percent so the total budget dollars would be four million eighty six thousand nine hundred thirty one dollars and that's that's on the sheet that looks like this year so in the town report for voters that are going to be actually researching uh, Yes. What the budget is, what will they see? And I, I want to be clear, we're talking about with the appropriation 177. Okay. They will see 7.3%. 7, 7 they, they will see three articles the town budget of 4,086,931. Okay. Then they will see the fire department at. 
387,109. And they will see the article of appropriations at 64,163. But those will all be listed. All the appropriations will be listed as separate articles down okay. through. But the total will be 64,163. So that would, that would reflect a an overall if we do not use the 100,000 for the fire department an overall increase of 20.7 percent I think Diane has some numbers what that would mean to a $200,000 right, for a $200,000 home that would be approximately $260 more a year So I'm sorry I wasn't in on this a little earlier, and I just I heard the numbers on the fire department, and that that increase this year was how much? Thirteen point nine, right? Thirteen point nine zero. And what was the increase over two years? Because it seems like last year the increase in the fire department budget was considerably higher than that last year. Am I correct? Or over two years, it's got to be. Because wasn't it somewhere around a 20% increase last year? Uh, yeah. I think it was around 18 last year. What happened? Yeah. What's the, what's, the, what's the big ticket item? I mean, what's wow, it just seems a lot over two years. I know why last year's increase was that high, but what, why, again, are we looking at double-digit number increase on the fire department side? We got rid of a two, uh, 1997, uh, sorry, 78 aerial. Okay. And it was, okay. Re it was replaced with a 2001. And so that comes with a $19,000 loan payment annually. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, I was just questioning cause I, I, knew it was pretty high and it just seemed like it wasn't going to be that this year, but so, okay. Well, that answers my question. So I, you know, and again, I go back to my school board experience on the school board. Uh, budget, they actually show the amount increase from the previous year's budget on the ballot. That's that's state law now. So in the town report, will they see a, uh, a line item in the town report book that shows 20.7% uh, well, town budget increase? I'd have to look. I don't know how that's put in the town report. I'm not no, no. But remember, in the town report, we don't include, uh, include the appropriations because we don't know if that's going to pass. Okay. Yeah. And that, and we're calculating okay. that in this. Okay. So they'll see, everybody will see 7.3%, which yeah. is, okay. Which is the, for the expense piece of it. Yeah. And to speak for the fire department, at least on the uh, proposed budget, it does show the increase, percent okay. increase. Okay. And the appropriations this year is less than last year. Last year it was uh, ninety eight thousand Right, right. Ninety eight thousand last year, so that's a savings of thirty four thousand this year on what's being requested in the appropriation. The appropriations that didn't take and uh, reapplied, were they absorbed by another group? I have no idea on that one. They didn't combine their their uh, grants and whatnot. I didn't really look that much to compare it because I was looking for the big number and you know, what was missing. Yeah. So but the smaller ones to me seem to be pretty much the same as prior years, so the 250, the 500s. I don't see like groups that are combining. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Groups that are kind of the same, doing the same type of thing, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I the, don't the, see again, that. The, the big one's the library. What was interesting is GMT's not in this year yeah. as well. That's yeah, a, that's that was a big one. chunk Ooh. last year. Yeah, because that was, I believe, like 26000 last year. Mm -hmm. But uh, once, once, you the, uh, once you get beyond the... Once you get beyond the library, it's, um, you know, the cemeteries, 10 again. 
and then home health hospice is the next at 7150 and then 3000 for the council on the aging and then 2000 mental health 1200 1000 975 8765 well, I think Rachel had said that um, most of them were asking for the exact same amount this year as they had last. Yeah, yes. that's correct. And I don't think there's any new ones. Yeah, any of the new ones, there were a couple, but they were smaller amounts. Mm -hmm. yeah, and there's all those that didn't come in. So. Is left in the opera account? There is three twenty one, three hundred twenty one thousand eleven dollars and sixty cents. And you should have a sheet like that that details it in your back. So, like seven point three percent overall increase. police officer be paid through ARPA? Yes, salaries will be paid through ARPA. What's his salary? I always guess a rough guess, and that's the minimal would be like 65000 That's just a rough so guess. So that's basically 1%. Yeah, yeah a little bit over. And that was the new police officer you're talking about? Yeah. And what about the non-budgeted um, employee in the office? So that's Assistant all treasurer? Assistant treasurer. Well, they, Would you take the two and look at the... Well, I mean... That's nearly... So, with, with paying for the officer would basically take it from 7.3 down to 6.3. Okay. Well, especially if I take the officer and I take all the benefits, then that would be well over 65,000. And I do try to pack the benefits in there. Um, because you've got the FICA match, you've got the Veemers, and then you've got... Um, I don't know how much of that you can use our funds for. For the benefits? Yeah. 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 Salary benefits, you can... Yeah. It's the much. whole package. Mm -hmm. This this new this new officer, what is have we done any projection what that's going to cut down on overtime? Well, again, watching the overtime, initially when he came on board, there was a, a fair amount of a decrease in overtime. Um, as it got colder and things, people moved around. Um, you know, the, the the calls and the overtime have gone up. Uh, haven't seen them start to come back down yet, though. Okay. So it, it, it fluctuates with current events, I guess, is the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. Are we fully staffed with able-bodied officers right now? We've got one that's still partially on yeah. workers' comp, so he's able to work in the office and help helps a great deal that. With that, but he's not full time. He yet. can't go on the road and do he calls. Definitely cannot go on the road for one. It's more of an admin <laughs> function he can do right now. Do we still have one down in the, the no. academy? No. Okay. We're we're basically fully staffed except for the one that's on. Let's call it like duty, admin duty, right now. So. And how long were you expecting to stay there? Great question. Don't know the answer to that yet. That's got to have a little bit of an impact on the overtime. It does. It does. Well, the assistant treasurer, what she paid? Um, I think with benefits, she would be probably in the 60 range. 
forty base salary is forty five seven sixty. Yeah. And then she has insurance to us. She has what? She does have health insurance to us. Okay. So you're thinking around sixty? Yeah. That's fair. Maybe so that would bring it down to five point three percent. Moving the into Yeah. But again, that's that's only going to be for this year. Right. And you'll have the same issue next year because obviously you need positions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if the board wants it down to wants the uh, increase in the budget down to three uh, to five percent. I don't see much other way to do it. Problem with that, though, I see is what's going to happen is is next year we're really going to look bad because <laughs> you're not going to be able to do it two years in a row. You're going to be looking at a larger increase in the budget. No, you'll be looking at an increase on an increased budget. An increase on an increased budget. Well, we're... if you drive it down to five percent this year. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So you'll have. Okay. All right. Yeah. My thought process on that was skewed. I see what you're saying, though. Yeah. Okay. Thoughts from the board. So is the the discussion the two positions and and paying pay salary and benefits. With our funds, we should be somewhere around 120 ish thousand. Is that correct? 60 something for the. Well, be actually, no, it'd be more with benefits for the cop. So he'd okay. be like the 80,000 range, I would imagine, with benefits. He or she. So we're looking at 140 or 150 so out of the ARPA funds. Yeah. funds. Yeah. So the budget is the same. The tax impact is lower if we take the ARPA right. funds, right? right. Coming so, from ARPA. Yeah, okay. And then what is that? That brings the ARPA money down to under two, what, 180s? About 200. Yeah, we're at 321 now. Mm -hmm. take, it'll take roughly half of that, right? Mm -hmm. So Yeah, so you'd be around 180, 160, 180. 180. Depending what the total of the benefits comes comes to, so again, I just just want to point out that we we're already buying it down by over two hundred thousand right now with our funds, two hundred thirty-six thousand roughly, well, not roughly. What? Yeah. What was that? We're we're already using two hundred thirty-six thousand dollars of of our funds to buy it down. And that's for the guns and all these other that's purchases. For, that's for the uh, forty-five thousand for the police vehicle, one hundred and eighty thousand dollars for the highway equipment, and uh, twelve thousand dollars for the police guns and ammo this year. Yeah. Because where did we start at five hundred fifty thousand or something like that? We're talking about for ARPA. Yeah, when does that fund start at? What did the fund start at? Like ARPA was around 800000 wasn't yeah. it? But the total from the beginning, yeah, that was uh, 831 Yeah. 831-554-12. Right. Correct. Okay. And that, that has to be used by a certain time. There was a certain time on that, correct? Correct. It has to be obligated by the end of, I think it's 2024. Four. Four, and spent by the end of uh, 2025, I believe. Right. Well, we're doing a good job. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, again, I wouldn't have been doing that. My only concern, uh, concern with that much more is, again, next year. Right. At, at some point, it's it's you know, it's kind of like kicking the can again. It's gone. It's gonna bite us. Yeah. <clears throat> what would you suggest, then, Vance? <laughs> for for cutting. Um. Again. Yeah. 
that there isn't much of a choice if we're going to do it. That that's where we're going to the way we're going to have to achieve it. I mean, I like I said, I've already taken two hundred and thirty-seven thousand of our funds to bring it down. Right. As far as buying equipment and things, upgrading, yeah. you know, we're we're there. Uh, we've done about all that we can. We've got one more. Well, if the, the radios have already been approved, but we've got one more system to replace for the police, their computer systems. Um, and that one's coming uh, soon. Um, those are the things that, you know, again, long term, have the best and biggest impact for us for the for the dollars. Uh, but but short term, you know, we're 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 pretty much out of out of options at this point. Based on the the other costs that have gone up that again that we don't directly control. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we, I think that we've done our job on the ARPA funds, putting it into, you know, capital that, that are long-term to help the town. Uh, so, you know, I guess, I, I don't know. I, Well, as I understand it, the only thing... Yes, if you want to present something that looks like a five... Go ahead. Sorry about that. That's all right, Dave. Um, the, the only thing that uh, I was thinking with using the ARPA funds for that was at least it would take and uh, uh, get us to where we'll know... Have, well, we'll have a, certainly have a better and a clearer picture as to what the economy is going to do by this time next year. If we go, if we, if you listen to some of the economists, they're talking recession. Some say we're going to come out of this. I mean, my own personal feeling is that we're probably going to go into a, some sort of a recession, but I don't know how bad. Again, my, my my thoughts on on using it for the two positions are those are gonna those are gonna hit us hard again next year. You're looking at two hundred thousand dollars. Well, not two hundred thousand. Sorry, one hundred twenty thousand dollars next year. That's gonna hit us again um, because we won't have the we won't have the ARPA funds to to, to cover that. Um, and again, at some point, you know, we're using one hundred eighty thousand for highway equipment. We're not going to have that again next year. Um, if I put that back in the budget next year, we're going to take it out again um, to reach our goal. And instead of going every seven years, do we have to go to eight years on a vehicle and pay maintenance costs? The we warranty be out. And I also heard that the new trucks may be going down to a five-year warranty and not a seven. The other problem is, is that the is that Tim was laying what another couple of years on the payload. Correct. So we'll get hit with that and a truck at some point. Uh, that's, you know. So how does, I guess, if if we were to reduce that on a, on a, if we're to reduce that from 8% to, to 6, 6.3 or whatever it was, how does that impact? 7.3. Like a, a 250, what's that? It's at 7.3 right now. 7.3. So if you got it down to 5.3, by using the ARPA funds, how does that impact a, 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 a tax yes, bill? It be clear, Dave. We, we, we used ARPA funds to go from, uh, to get to the 7.3, right? How much of it did you use to get to the 7.3? 200 and... 200. Uh, let's see, that's 225 and 13. $237,000. Yeah, then I don't. I don't know that I would use another two hundred thousand of the ARPA funds because I think that that we're going to have some issues that we're going to need that money next year. Um, I think the thing that jumps out, well, to me as a voter when I wasn't on uh, the board is 
significant increases. Like, you know, I'd scan through my town report and I'd look at whatever police department, 300,000, police department, 450,000. And that would draw my eye uh, and make me question it. Um, I think 7.3% gets us, we were at 15% last week or somewhere up around there as far as the total. We started at 18. 18. Uh, it's, it's a high number, but we are, you know, everybody knows, everybody at home knows that uh, we're battling inflation just like the town is. Uh, I don't think we're going to get that number any lo lower with the new, the three new positions we hired. So I think spreading out the uh, the pain for this year and next year puts next year's board in a better position and this year's board in uh, a position where the budget will still be approved by voters, I believe, at 7.3. So Where's the third hire? Third hire? The uh, public works director. The police officer and the assistant uh, treasurer. The public works officer is paid for by the public works okay. department. Okay. It just comes out of their operating budget that they get through the sewer, water and sewer. Okay. Including all the benefits. Okay. It won't touch the general fund. Yeah, but wasn't there a number that we, wasn't there a appropriation or something that we, we gave to the, or we authorized for the public works board that wasn't coming out of that thing? It didn't increase. Right, increased. That, no, no, we got that already. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're on it. Yeah, you know, I'd be in favor of seeing it to 7.3 myself. I mean, uh, it, it's a big, it's a big increase, but just just to call it, point, I, I think just want to throw it out so so everybody understands that the one new hire on the staff that we have that's in this um, raised that portion of the, the budget by almost 25 percent by one staff member. Yeah. Raise what portion of the budget? The uh, the staff portion of it, admin staff. Yeah. Uh, the percent increase, not, not the total. Not the total. Yeah, the, the percent that increase. That portion yeah. of the budget yeah. for, for staff. Yeah, for the office. So I get that. Just doesn't work. So, do we make a motion to accept the recommendation that? For the number four hundred eight, let's see, four million eighty six thousand nine hundred thirty one. But it is four oh eighty six nine fifty one. It is twenty dollars more. I've already done my math. I'm pretty good at math, so okay. I think I got that. Come on, numbers matched up before. Um, well, I don't Well, I tell you, I'd be willing to make that motion with that 7.3 increase. Uh, so 7.3 or 7.31 now? <laughs> 7.3, whatever that number was to uh, to go forward with that budget. I think that the voters will approve the budget. Uh, you might hear a little bit of squawking, but, I mean, there was some stuff last year that I thought for sure we'd have heard more about that, that didn't. Uh, and I feel comfortable with that number and not, not being here for all of the budget stuff and very little of it myself. I think you guys have done a, a hell of a job. I have a motion. Do I have a second? You, you made the motion. Okay. I'll make Dave made the motion. Oh. Any other discussion on this? Okay, so with the 7.3% increase, where does that leave the budget again at I won't even ask Vince to take that $20 out of his pay personally. 
to give that. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. I said I won't ask. Oh, you won't ask. <laughs> no. All right. All right. So of that increase, Diane, how much of it is in, is in the uh, our operating insurance? And you're talking health insurance or, or are you talking? All the insurances. Uh, all the insurances? Especially the liability. Well, the workers come too. Yeah. So there's a figure on this page. What's the 150,149? It's on this page. The reduction impact page. Yep. Insurances in your uh, 10 one thirty fifteen account, it's uh, $150,149, roughly about 30%, 31%. So that's a 31% increase? Yep. Look, I think you're missing. Over last year's number, which was 114,252. So that's so that's that's workers called health insurance itself over last year went up twenty three thousand eight hundred seventy dollars. Just health insurance, right? I'm, I'm basing that on seven percent, but I'm also basing it on more people this year than last. Correct. Okay. And last so year it was five percent increase. No. What he does not know. What he does at the agency. No, he never talks about. So then, why are you worried about this? Any other discussion on this? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Now, James, if you do the. All right, Diane, if you do the math for the uh, warning, we'll do the warning. Well, I yes. got the number for the warning. So yeah. that's what we needed. Just why? 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 Of town appropriate four million eighty six thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars for necessary town expenses for the period July 1, 23 through June 30th, 2024. Okay, and uh, the other one for the the, the uh, number for the um, fire department, I think that's the correct number, but that's the correct no, number 387 109. 387 109? Yeah, yeah it is. Well, that's last year's number. I'm sorry, 365. <laughs> So the uh, Article 4 shall read, shall the town appropriate $387,109 to the Berlin Volunteer Fire Department for payment of necessary expenses from July 1, 2023 through June 30th, 2024. All the other items in there are uh, correct. Here, a motion on the article. I make the motion to approve the article as presented and outlined by Vince this evening. A second. All right. Sir. Any further discussion on it? Should I vote on this, Brad? With the fire department. I don't see why not. You're not appropriating. We're not spending. You're not spending the money. You're just putting it before the voters. Okay. No more discussion. Any, so no more discussion on this? All those in, uh, no, I want it on you know, and I want you to find it. I can't remember. We, we have a motion on this already? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> um, all those in favor? No further discussion? Aye. 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 No opposed? Motion carries. Um, approval of budgets, I mean, yeah. <laughs> approval licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. I so, make the motion to approve payroll warrant 23-15 for payroll from January 1st to January 14th, 2023, paid on January 
15th of this year in the amount of $60,342.99 and payable warrant 23G13 with che uh, checks number 22617 to 22649 for payables in the amount of $48,362.32 and the December 2022 general journal entries. Yes, I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion Aye. carries. Um, approval of January 9th, 2023 minutes. I make the motion to approve the Thursday, January 9th, 2023 minutes as presented. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Right. Uh, Abstain. Uh, motion carries. Coach, consider your punishment being so reckless. Was you get a uh, select board um, report? There's a copy of it in your, should be a copy of it in your package. This is for the time of work. I actually gave it to you last week as well and sent it to you to review. But if you haven't had a chance, there's another copy in there. Again, pretty much trying to standardize it. Yep. Year, year on year, kind of change the numbers and any specifics. Um, so this looks a lot like last year's with the names changed and numbers changed. And of course, if you do accept that, I'd ask that you all sign it tonight so I can give it to Rachel to get into the report. <laughs> The motion on signing it. I'm just finishing reading oh. it. Just to and do a one quick additional cursory review. So I'll make the motion to accept the select board report as uh, presented. No second. <laughs> Any discussion on it? Dave? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nice. Those opposed? Motion carries. And round table Joe. So I'm uh, just going to say again that the Berlin Fire Department does have um, an open seat on the board of directors open to any town resident. Um, and this would be a position that would be appointed by the select board. So anyone interested, you could uh, contact your select board member. Hello? Nothing this evening, thank you. Carl? Nope. Nothing for me. Dave? No, I'm all set. I'll let her entertain the motion to adjourn. I make the motion that we adjourn tonight's regularly scheduled select board meeting. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned.